Hi, session 8 of Egan Matrix Programming for the Hawken Continuum. Today I'd just like to say a few words about the TE Control Breath Controller. I just purchased an interface to the Continuum, and I have to admit I think it's going to be very useful. Uh, so let's just take a few uh, looks at what we have to do to get this working. First, what we want to do is install the controller itself. That's just a USB interface that connects up to your computer. And just make sure that you download the right software for it. The version 5 software, at least at the current date in uh, May of 2016, is version uh, 5 for the breath controller that also uses a byte control on another CC and a nod up and down of your head for a third CC control and finally a tilt of your head uh, for a fourth CC control. So you can control four independent parameters at the same time with this thing, i.e. you can control all four barrels at the same time if you like, though it's quite a chore and frankly I'm not sure how useful that's really going to be unless you want to make yourself quite ill, bobbing and popping your head around all over the place. But anyway, using two at once, or even three, I think can be very useful. So once you have that tech controller installed, if you go to the cog wheel and then just bring up MIDI and global settings, you should, if everything's correct, see the breath controller on your external control. And of course, you'll set your MIDI uh, parameters in the the Egan matrix for the uh, setting that you need to have MIDI input. Now that I know that that's working, the next thing to do is to bring up the application that comes with the device. And this allows you to set your parameters for each of the breath, bite, knot, and tilt functions. And as you blow on the thing, if you notice, You'll see um, the uh, little balls here moving that'll tell you the approximate position MIDI-wise of your uh, control, depending upon which one that you're using. I've, in this case, disabled the nod and tilt that you'll see in a second why. But the important thing is to set your parameters for the breath, bite, nod, and tilt functions to the right MIDI channel and CC that you want to control the function of the continuum you're using. In this case, what I did was I brought up the Wind Beach uh, patch for the uh, Egan Matrix, the preset, and fiddled with it a bit. I changed the SLSR outputs from a fingerboard control to just c some constants and then I e added barrels on the wind and the beach components and those barrels will be connected to the breath controller. I also put a little persistence on each of those barrels because I'm not going to use the release right now. I could have done that with the third uh, option nodding while I'm breathing and biting but let's just uh, demo this with the breath and the bite uh, for now. So then I'll go in here and uh, thanks to Lippold for confirming what to do here on MIDI channel 16 or th you could use 15 too. Uh, I'll set uh, the MIDI CC for the right barrel that I want it to control um, since I'm not using anything on the release function here, which would be CC12, I'll use CC13 for wind, which would be the breath. So on channel 16, CC13, I've set it to, to the wind. And the, uh, the beach sound, I'm going to set to uh, my bite on channel 16 with CC14. So now if I blow, I should get the wind sound. And it's very nice if you want to simulate blowing sounds because you are actually blowing. So if I wanted to set this up for a flute or some other wind instrument, it might be very nice in conjunction with uh, the fingerboard to give it some more natural control and maybe even a greater depth on Z if I uh, do it right. 
And if I bite now, I'll get the beach, the surf sound. I set this one to be quite a bit less than the, the wind. But the nice thing is, if I practice a little bit, I can bite and blow at the same time to create a much more natural beach-like sound. Well, I could have done that with my fingers with this patch, of course, too, the way it's set up for Y control. But the nice thing about this is I can set this patch up to be controlled with my breath. I guess I could have done the same thing with two pedals, but it's a lot more natural to blow for a wind sound than to use a pedal. And th then I can set up some other sound, maybe some birds, so that while I'm blowing the wind and the beach, I can have some bird motions going that I'm playing with my fingers. So I can really see that this tech controller is going to be of use, and hopefully soon I'll use it in a little more musical way. But uh, I think if, uh, if you want to get it, it does, in fact, work. I think it cost me around $150 or so. So it's not cheap, but there are other breath controllers out there that cost a lot more and don't do as much. So that's it for today. Till the next time.